Okay, we know I've been pretty outspoken on the issue of crystal meth. And I always say, uh, these politician or advocate, or even the media, they never mention the issue of crystal meth. They mention substance abuse or uh, drug addiction, but they don't mention crystal meth. And that's the problem. Drug, uh, drug abuse, that could be too much marijuana. Uh, substance abuse could be too much marijuana, who knows? But they're hiding. So anyway, so I had this counselor that I've been exchanging email. Won't mention no names. But just send me this. I never read it. Let's see if the issue of crystal meth is mentioned. This was during a meeting that I had last Thursday. And this is from Here Is Where We Are from the city perspective. Okay. Living rough is a complex issue that continues to be at the forefront of conversation here in Fredericton. In the past year, we, ha we have communicated transparency to the public about a can uh, com compassionate approach to dealing with citizens who find themselves living rough. Now, why are they living rough? Because they choose to be. Often in tents and around the city. Yep. With the arrival of spring, we have seen a consistent increase in the number of tents being set up, which I've been predicting all winter. Because uh, the welcome committee here in Fredericton, they welcome met heads in the city. Give them a tent and everything. Okay, focus, Charles. Uh, as well as the number of calls we get from those concerned about health and safety of those living rough, met heads, but they don't say that, and the impact on the greater community, yeah, garbage, destruction, shitting, pissing all over the place. They don't say that, though. Uh, while we know the perfect solution may never be attainable, we are continuing to evolve in our thinking and approach to dealing with this precious press pressing issue. We are committing, committed to help this segment of our population, met heads, move into more stable living condition and accessible to relevant services. They won't take it. They just tell them to go fuck themselves. Yes, I will swear. There are more important items to share at this juncture as we work together on a sustainable re resolution. What a bunch of crap. This year, we will, there will be no section micro tent site. Yeah, I knew that. While it was a good stop gap measure last year, we learned some lessons and are making new decisions based on the information we have now. The City of Fredericton and the Fredericton Police Force are working together on a multidisciplinary group of caring and committed individuals from appropriate government and non-government agencies like so-called Dr. Sarah uh, Davidson uh, to provide the right services at the right time and in the right place. Bullshit! If you do see tents around this city, it does not mean we are ignoring the issue. It takes time to make the right connection. Please be patient as we work in our part, part, with our partners' agencies to do this important work. Boy, this is long, sorry. This is a tendon to be a balanced approach between supporting our most vulnerable citizens and maintaining public safety and the ability for our citizens to do and the business community to continue to thrive in our city. Downtown Fredericton, by the end of the summer, it'll be done because the Met heads are taken over and they can't be touched. We will not give up on these indiv individuals even if they choose to continue living rough. That's still not mentioning crystal meth. And linking them with the right support at the right time. Everyone's journey is different. It requires compassion and patience. However, public safety issues like shitting in front of the medical clinic will be addressed with urgency they require. I'll see if the shit is still there from last night. 
Our city is full of caring and kind people who want to help. Yeah, they see metheads, they give them money. It's so nice. We have seen it many times in many ways. We ask that you consider option for giving. Please contact established community partners at the Fredericton Homeless Shelter, Fredericton Community Kitchen, the Oak Center, that's, that, that, that's where all the drug dealers are, Oak Center, or Green Village for more information where your generosity can be put to best use. Bullshit. This remains a complex issue that is involving and please, but please know there is much work being done to help support those who find themselves living rough. Balance with the safety and security needed of the entire community. Bull fucking shit. Anyway, that's it. So, let, person say, what's my solution? It's simple. There, I just talked, just had a rant with Robbie and McDonald. He just came out of jail again uh, for a month for trespass. I have a video of a guy shitting in front of the medical clinic. Shitting. Now, if it was Charles LeBlanc, oh my God, it would be like uh, indecent exposure. Your Honor, we must send a message to the public. This will not be tolerated. Bang! But nothing is done. I'm a witness of the uh, guy, Methead, stole a brand new bicycle from Savages. I got the video. And we got three witness. And all the business said, don't come back. We have a video of a guy shoplifting at the uh, Victory Meat Market. We went after him. We got the pie and juice back. I give the video. Nothing happened. Just a trespass act. So what has to happen? They have to start charging these people that steals and put them in jail and put the proper resources a rehab center in our jail system. That's the only way. And these advocate that goes after people like me in public and, you know, try to threaten me, that is not the right way. So this thing here, never once they mention crystal meth. So it's all bullshit.